Hello and welcome to the SQL DBA channel. Today I'm recording a um, video for the how to back up your databases to the Azure Blob. So Microsoft provide the Blob containers which are also called storage accounts in the Microsoft Azure out there and you can store over there uh, in the form of like you know any blob out there in terms of containers and other usage you can use that storage account as a file shares where you can you know have like a common file share for your company out there or the organization then you can use it also as for queues and for the azure tables too for today video purpose i'm going to discuss how to back up your um, databases sql server databases to the azure blob and the reason why i'm recording this video is because recently i came across one of the issue where uh, where we were doing the backups out there on the cloud and the azure blob and those databases were pretty big like six terabytes to ten terabytes or more and but the compression size of the database was less than one terabyte so uh, as soon as it hit the one terabyte limit it start failing out there so we were quite surprised like what exactly happened and uh, why it happened why it started failing because it was working yesterday and now it is not working and we opened the microsoft case and everything but we were not able to figure it out not even the microsoft provided that description like why it is failing out there so that's why i'm recording this video so that uh, anybody who faced similar issue or if anybody want to learn how to do your backups out there in the cloud in azure blob storage so this can be the good starting point so let's go over this one so steps needed for this one uh, so basic steps needed for backing up your database to azure blob storage is very first step you have to create the credential either it can be with the key or secret or you can have a sas token out there which is shared access signature token for that blob account then you have that credential built out then you can basically uh, run your backup script with backup to the url with credential out there and it will back up your database backup out there on the cloud so now let's go straight ahead to the uh, to the demo i'm gonna stop sharing and share again with my window which is uh, my sql server window let me share my sql server window with you guys and here it is okay so i believe uh, i'm sharing my screen now so uh, very first step uh, as i mentioned in my uh, powerpoint presentation is to create the credential so there are two kinds of credential you can create over here one is with the account key which is like storage account key provided by the azure out there so in that case you will use your storage account name and the secret key out there and you will create the credential i already created my credential out here i removed the secret from here for security reasons and uh, you can put your storage account name over here and this script will help you to create the storage account uh, credential out there for the storage account the next way to create the credential is with a shared access signature. Uh, this is little different because you have to produce a shared access signature out there in the storage account. First go in there on the left hand side, you will see shared access signature and over there you can fill, you know, do some check marks and create that URL and it will produce a secret out there. So you put your path out there in the credential name and with identity it's very important you have to put shared access signature and once you have the shared access signature then you put the signature over here secret over here so i created both my um, credentials with the identity and the secret and i also created my credentials with the identity using the shared access signature now let's go when you are having uh, i will show you a couple of methods how to do the backup so when you have like you know smaller databases which has good pretty good compression and which compresses less than one terabyte you can use ola helagrin so ola helagrin uh, produces like scripts which are pretty uh, you know good for maintenance of sql server databases 
and that can be pretty handy out there for the database admins or developers out there so uh, that's what i'm using uh, if you don't even want to use their script you can go in your database right click and do the backup and over here you can say url add your url and you provide your name it so you have to select your container name right here so you provide your container name and then you can script it out so it will produce your script how to backup out there on the blob container so this is one way and uh, second way is basically um, so let me show you how uh, this one works. So this is like a database backup uh, store proc from the Ola Helagrin, where I just provided the you know URL and I provided my credential out there. So I run this one. So it will start producing the backup and it will also show you what script it is using. Let me copy that script for you so that you have that script in the video and you can use it for your reference so if i copy in here so this will be the script which you can use to back up to the blob container so basically it's providing the url with the file name out here and uh, you provide the credential so again uh, this thing so when it do the backup out there, what happens? It produces the backup in the form of the page blob. So there are two kinds of blob. So there is like, you know, one is page blob. And second is block blob. So the difference is page blob has a one terabyte limit. So there is a one terabyte limit. If your backup is more, more than one terabyte, it will fail. So it's not easy to find on the Microsoft documentation. And um, if you are working in the organization, you will, and if you open a Microsoft case, it depends upon the engineer who get assigned to that one. And sometimes they don't uh, right away tell you. And that's what happened with me. Like, you know, I opened, <coughs> I opened a case and um I, it took like a couple of days at least for me to myself like dig into it but and the microsoft was revolving me around and um, you know provide this trace or that trace and all kinds of different things so second is block blob so block blob um don't have any limit uh, in terms of like you know they do have certain limits uh, when I say don't have any limit, uh, I mean like a one terabyte limit is not there. So you can produce like different block blobs. And I believe there is a limit on one blob size, one block size of like 250 gigabytes. And max block you can produce is, I believe, 50,000. Uh, but you can follow the Microsoft doc documentation. Um, you will find uh, if you look specifically for block blob, you can find uh, that out easily. But this is what uh, I believe is the limitation out there. Now we'll head, let's head back to like you know our original uh, task out here to do the backups. Now, uh, if you want to use the block blob, so basically using the normal backup script, it will do the page blob. So if you want to use the block blob then you have to use a shared access signature so that's a major difference which i want to highlight over here and with the big database backups like you know more than one terabyte so you will definitely need to break that into different um, blocks out there and um, because there's a limit out there for one block blob to be 250 gigabytes so when you want to break that um, backup into multiple blocks out there so what you can use, you can use SQL Server feature to uh, back up that database into multiple files. So right here, uh, what I did is I divide that backup into 20 files. And uh, here is a normal script, which is backup database to URL, provide your all the URLs. So if you want to do, want to break in like four files, do that. If you want to break in like 10 files, do that. Depend upon, depending upon how big of the size you're looking for. And over here, what I'm 
trans providing over here is max transfer size so that i can define how much data it can be transferred while it's you know uh, dealing with the azure container out there and the block size so i'm defining my block size to be around 64 uh, megabytes gigabytes sorry so that's what i'm providing so now let's go back and run this script and see how does it work. So I try to make my scripts dynamic so that it can be used anywhere. So that you can convert this script into the into the store proc too. So that way you just need to pass in the parameters and that will be done. So over here you can see it completed. It, it backed up my admin database and it broke that into 20 different files out there. So uh, that will be all for today's video. And thanks a lot for joining me and have a great day.